Well, folks, it's been 10 years. September 17th, 2013. Grand Theft Auto V graced our screens. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just visit it. Let's just fly around for a little bit. See everything. Hmm. I remember I was nine years old and in fourth grade when this game came out. And I did not hear about it as it was coming out. But the day after it came out, all my, all the kids and my, the guys in my class were talking about it. Basically saying, oh man, it's so fun. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Oh man, my mom hates that I'm playing it. And I was intrigued. So I looked it up on YouTube. I watched all these guys play it. Oh, what did I lock on to? <laughs> and I begged my mom to let me get it. And she said, no. You know, as any good mother should. You shouldn't really let your kid play a game like this. Woo. And but I just begged and begged and begged. I remember she finally gave in and said, all right, we will rent it from Family Video and you can play it for two days but so make the most of it i'm like oh my god thank you mom thank you mom so i play i play i play i play i play and then oh it's 10 o'clock at night so i'm like you know what? i'm not that tired so i'll just keep playing i play i play i play i play and it's 2 a.m all of a sudden i have never stayed up that late before i'm like okay i should probably go to bed i try to fall asleep on the couch so that way i could wake up in the morning and go right back to playing it but i couldn't fall asleep so i'm like you know what yeah let's just keep playing so i play i play i play i play i play and then all of a sudden at six in the morning i stayed up the whole night damn you uh so i'm like oh wow my first ever all-nighter so i'm like all right and i keep playing it for the rest of the day and then that night i go to sleep i sleep 30 hours 30 hours I sleep it's the longest I've ever slept and I woke up with a unbelievable flu terrible I, my mom thought I was dying so yeah that was the first time I ever played GTA 5 well the first time would be at a friend's house but the first time I was allowed to play it First time I really used my Xbox to play it. Let's see what we got down there. Would it even register that far away? Oh yeah, it registers. Where are the people? Damn. So yeah, uh, hands down, one of my biggest, my best moments from GTA 5 is watching Vanoss Gaming and his friends play Grand Theft Auto 5. Hands down. There we go. Got it. They are probably the funniest people on the internet De definitely them and oni plays are probably the funniest group of people groups of people Ooh. the atomic blimp i remember that being a pre-order bonus oh oh shit All right, let's tour some mission spots. Let's go to the uh, the first LS mission. You can't really go to Ludendorff, which is the first actual mission. But I remember, I remember exactly where I'm supposed to go. Right along here, are this row of houses on the beach starts off right there. Franklin and Lamar. Uh, so let's talk about the characters for a minute. Franklin, 
Michael, and Trevor. Two of the greatest protagonists in gaming. Three of the greatest gaming protagonists. Alright. This one with the yellow spiral steps. I remember Michael telling Franklin that. When they first meet on this beach. What you looking at, pussy? Alright. Alright. So right through here. They sneak. And then right here there should be cars, but there isn't any, so we're gonna do exactly what the title of the game entails. Ooh, I want that one. Oh fuck. So they get out right here. Alright. Take drive. Take drive. Oh man. I hated this mission when I was younger because I did not like missions where driving was an important aspect. I was a shooter guy. And uh, now I like driving, but I'm still not good at it. They go up and around here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, shit like that happens quite often. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, I like driving, just still not good at it goes up here a ways before man fuck where the fuck am I supposed to go I guess I still need that dot oh right here Can't go up it <laughs> this is embarrassing go right through here through the movie place <laughs> the movie studio drive through here there's like the alien guys and the outfits all the crew members the security guards smash through here come down and drive through this little part or maybe it's not this little part I don't know, I always use the speed runway. But they for sure go down through here. Usually there aren't so many cars in the way because, you know, you're supposed to, for story stuff. Uh, tell me, who's your favorite character in GTA V? Like playable, not playable? Of all, I think Trevor is still, he's always been my favorite. I think he'll always be my favorite. Yes. Forgive me. All right, now I'm just completely lost. I don't know where the hell else, where the hell else to go. Or wait, do I? Or do I? Yeah, I don't know. But you know that was fun, anyways. You're supposed to go through the. Uh, the Union Depository. It, it really is a early t form of uh, foreshadowing, I suppose. Just letting you drive through all these locations and where you end the mission is where you end the game. I'm doing this in director mode right now. I don't want any distractions from uh, phone calls from the businesses. I played this game for years without knowing about anything about the stock market. I did not know that's how, the only way you're able to get all of the properties. Oh, wait. <laughs> right here. Let me go up through here. Go through this little area. Down through here. Oh, Sorry. And then up over this. Damn. Oh, but it's closed. <laughs> ah, well. Ain't that a peach. Oh. Ooh. This is my favorite game. The car in the game. 
Hey, you son of a bitch. Alright. Saber Turbo. Hands down. Favorite car. Oh, another one. That, I'm not, I'm sorry, I didn't want to shoot you. I wanted to shoot the other guy. Oh my goodness, another one. This is just my lucky day. Yep, favorite car in the game. I like how it looks. I like how it sounds. I like how it drives. But yeah, let's visit some other places, shall we? Here we are in my favorite location of the game, Sandy Shores in Blaine County. I decided to switch to Trevor because I thought it'd be appropriate. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, do I hear the train going? Oh yeah, I saw it. I remember trying to stop the train. The only time I've ever seen it done was with Vanoss Gaming, Vanoss and his friends. And then also Mr. Beast did it, like, a, a year or so ago. Yeah, I just love Blaine County. It reminds me of a... I don't know. It looks nothing like my home, but it just reminds me of home. I don't know why. Oh, sorry, Coyote. Easy as ever. Whew. Whew. Oh, fuck. Had a partner. He didn't seem to care I was pointing a gun at him. Didn't think I, he would care if I shot him. Alright. What the? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Trevor has the ability. Trevor's the only one who can survive going head on with the train. Uh, he has, but only with his ability as well. Oh. It was always a shame that these were, would never blow up. I think that would have been super cool. Yeah, with today being the 10th anniversary, I'm hoping Rockstar will announce some news about GTA 6. Like, pretty please, Rockstar. With cherries on top. Ooh, here's another story mode spot. Ugh. Right over there. I'm going to steal a car. I'm not running all that way. <laughs> eh. Well, shit. Alright, I killed a guy for his dirt bike. But right here, this is what we're looking at. The Lost in the Dam's hideout, or base. If you remember, there is a point in the story where you come here and you just wreak total havoc. Like, that blown up party. Trevor did that. Oh, man. You know, it almost makes me want to cry. GTA V really reminds me of being a kid. Those simple days. Didn't have a... Fuck. Didn't have a care in the world. The only thing you really cared about was having fun. Like I said earlier, this game came out when I was 9 in 4th grade. I'm now 19 in my second year of college. And uh, with a job and living on my own and everything. So, I don't know. It just really makes my throat tighten up. I just always think the the ragdoll physics are amazing. 
it doesn't Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't have it quite as much but you know it still got some ragdoll physics but nothing will ever be GTA 5's ragdoll physics Holy shit. keep moving If I remember correctly, there should be a stunt jump over here. It's not going to count because I'm in director mode. But. Yep, right there. Going to have to go all the way down here. There's a, uh, I thought there was a ramp, like, right there at the end of the pier, or the, the end of the road. Oh, no, there's something over there with that. Yeah, I see it. We'll, we'll visit here, visit it here in a second. I'm gonna jump this motel. Don't fuck this up. Okay. <laughs> Shit like that. I love it. Like I was saying earlier, the ragdoll physics. It's a nice little El Camino. Yep, right here, there's a little ramp. And just... For what? This is not even a... That ain't even working. Oh, it's on fire. All right, let's find something else to do. And here we are at the iconic Fort Zancudo. Oh man, I remember the days of busting in here, stealing a jet. I don't know for why, but for some reason it's way easier to steal a jet from here in online than in this story. Hmm. And I love environmental stuff like that. Helicopters taking off, planes landing, cars just generally driving, the random encounters you can find in the story mode. It's all just so beautiful. Woo. Now let's find a plane. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, crack my neck. Oh. All right. Woo. Oh, yeah. I remember doing this and wanted to throw up when I was younger. Still kind of want to throw up. Man, I, I wish they did something with this place. This is a cool area. Maybe they did something in online. I don't know. I think I was going to make it for a second. Whoa! That was almost really bad. Actually, let's take that plane down. Man, we got really far out. I hated the ocean in this game. I'm glad there are very few missions where you have to get near it. I am terrified of the ocean. 
video games included. I can't play Subnautica. I just can't play it. That's why I'd always hate when I try to fly super far out there and then like you're playing and the boat will turn off and you just sink and you'll be trapped in the water. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm really glad swimming's not much of a mechanic in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's not a mechanic at all in Red Dead Redemption 1. Man, I was up late last night. And the scenery in GTA 5 is unchallenged. Except maybe by Red Dead Redemption 2, which is made by the same people. But it just proves how great they are at doing, at making a game. Let's take this plane down. He didn't do anything to me, but I'm going to do something to him. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. I was just trying to see it go into the water. Whoop, right over here. We got Trevor's Airport. An awesome location and an already awesome location. Oh yeah. You know what? Let's do I love doing this. Let's Get way the fuck up here. Also a little scared of heights, but less so in video games. Oh, there's a plane down there. Oh, alright. There you go. And now we are going to cut the engine. And we are just gonna glide. Alright. I love that sound of nothing. Whoa. All right. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Maverick ain't got shit on me. Oh yeah, look at that sunset. And here we are, on Mount Chiliad. What? Mount Chiliad, one of the most mysterious parts of the game. You ever seen that, uh, that video? Oh man, I forget who made it. I'll link him in the description, but this guy made a video about the mysteries of Mount Chiliad. Alright, music off. Oh yeah. Oh, let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, then it's right here. Let's just keep going. Oh, third time's the charm. Yeah, man. This game means the world to me. Oh, shit. It's how I bonded with a lot of my friends. 
It's how I made a lot of my friends. It's probably the game I put the most amount of hours into between Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4. I, I probably have about 2,000 hours total. I, I would have to check. I don't know if there is a way to check on X, Xbox 360, but I don't even have my 360 anymore, so I don't know. Ooh. Like I said, man, these ragdoll physics are the best. Here is another one of the most iconic locations from the game, the Altruist Camp. They're the people you can sell. That you can sell pedestrians to, or random encounter pedestrians. Yeah, they're cannibals. They're two of the worst things imaginable: cannibals and hippies. Ah, let's use my favorite gun. There we go, the special carbine. I love how it sounds. That's how I gauge whether or not I like a gun. Does it sound nice when it shoots? And if it does, it's my favorite. Or does it just look cool? Oh, that ain't all of them already, is it? Yeah, I never did. I never did feed these pe those people to these guys because I don't know. I I try. I keep my morals in games, which that which makes me a pussy. But yeah, this camp, awesome. Here we are at the observatory. This game, uh, this part, this, it's only in two missions, I believe. The one where Dave knocks you out and you go to the morgue and then the other one where Martin McJazzo has you get in a van that's just over there and you shoot down a plane that's flying in kind of like that or not that big but you know uh, I see you quite a lot <laughs> another thing I like is every character has their own special way of like certain special attacks like a certain way of doing some things Whew. man I wonder why my mom didn't want me playing this game <laughs> yeah wonder why ah but yet this is also the home of Dark Viper AU's infamous blimp, blimp ex exploit, I think it, you call it, he calls it. Where like he flies a blimp over here and then he falls down there for a speed run. Ah, uh, random acts of violence are fun. I am now here at the Vinewood sign. I switched over to my online character. And I'm just taking a look. I really don't know what else to say. Uh, for one, Rockstar, I know we've had our differences in the past. You recently have made a few pretty greedy and uh, bad business decisions, which I don't appreciate. But every single time I get back in and I play this game, I, yeah, that's perfect. I forget about all of that. And I just want to say thank you for, for everything. I know it's cliche, it's a cliche saying, but this game helped make me who I am. This game, like I said, helped me. It's a something I talked a lot about with friends. It's something 
that formed what YouTubers I watched. It's something that inspired me to be making YouTube videos right now. So, Rockstar, thank you for that, for everything, really. Here's hoping GTA 6 will be half as influential as this game is. Uh, but anyways, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by and watch one of my videos. It really means the world to me. Uh, please, uh, try this game out. Or at least look at something on YouTube. Just If you have as much love for this game as I do, just pay it a visit today. And with that being said, have a good weekend. God bless you. And have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.